Hey guys, what if you want to know what time it is? That's what you need this clock for. Or just to show off to your friends. So in this video I will show you how to build a working clock in Minecraft using some simple redstone tricks. At first I will show you the circuit and how it works and then we are going to build this together step by step and I will explain how you can get this fancy clock face. Now let's take a look at the redstone. A redstone signal goes through this repeater array. We need really short redstone imports so that only one redstone lamp is activated simultaneously. Now the interesting thing is that we can lock a repeater using another repeater or a comparator. This allows us to lock up a redstone impulse. If we unlock them for a very short time, we can make the redstone signal travel from one redstone lamp to the next one. One in-game Minecraft day lasts 24,000 ticks, so one hour equals 1,000 ticks. One in-game day lasts 20 minutes, one in-game hour 50 seconds. The easiest way is to build a hopper clock. A hopper can fence at 2.5 items every second, so we need 62 items. We built this little redstone contraption because the redstone signal from the hopper clock would be too short otherwise. Now you might be wondering why the redstone signal isn't in a closed loop like this. The reason is quite simple. This hopper clock isn't perfectly accurate and therefore the error would add up until the clock is completely wrong. So we reset the clock every 12 hours using a daylight detector. The daylight detector is hooked up to a rising and falling edge detector. This will trigger exactly two times a day, around 0 ticks and the second time at around 12,000 ticks. Now how exactly does this work? The daylight detector will trigger a short redstone impulse and unlock the repeater array. The first redstone lamp will be set and the repeater array gets locked again. Now the hopper clock starts ticking. Each 1000 in-game ticks, the repeater array gets unlocked and the redstone signal can travel one repeater further. At the end of the array, the hopper clock gets locked so that it resets itself and waits for the next cycle. So let's make this look like a clock. We need a flat wall where we can place 12 redstone lamps like this. If you want this fancy looking clock face, you can find a download link down in the description. These are actually just custom maps. You go to a place further away on your Minecraft world and open 7 empty maps. You go to your saves folder and open the world you're building this clock in. Then you open the data folder and the last 7 files are the maps you just created. Rename the downloaded files to match these numbers and replace them. With this command you can make the item frames invisible, the command will also be in the downloads folder. Now we can build the redstone circuit, everything should be symmetrical. The yellow blocks are for powering the redstone lamps, the blue blocks are for the redstone array.
Now we build the hopper clock and don't forget to put 62 items in one of the hoppers. The daily detector needs to be inverted and make sure all repeated delays are set to the right amount. It's 2 for each of these, 2 for this one, and this one, and 4 for this one. That's it. Now we just have to wait for the daylight detector to change its output. If you don't want to wait, we can power this redstone signal and break and replace this repeater so that this repeater is on. This will power the redstone signal and stop the hopper clock. All items should be at the right hopper. We break the right repeater and set the time to 23,900 ticks. After the observer moved one time, we can replace the repeater and set it to 2 ticks. That's it. If we want to measure the precision of this clock, we can output the current time using a command block. We create a scoreboard for starting the current date. It's slash scoreboard objective at time dummy. We need one command block set to repeat and always active. All these commands will be in the download folder. Then we need one command block with the style row command. We pick this command block up while sneaking to copy it with the MBD data and we replace our redstone lamps with this command block. So we get the current time in the chat. The first column is the time it should really be and the second column is our command block output. In the third column, I calculated the error. On average, this clock runs 3 seconds early, which is pretty good. <laughs> 